Now we asked you what happens next and what happened next was the car crashed into the casino and that was from Clint Eastwood, possibly Clint Eastwood's worst ever film which is called Pink Cadillac and it's out on video next week and I'm sure that many people will rush to buy it after seeing that. Now my next guest is a man who's been famous for so many years not only for his panorama specials, his 10 year reign of terror on Question Time, he's also the man that this was said about. There were many TV interviews before Robin Day but political interviewing as it is now appreciated and taken for granted by the British public was defined, refined and established by this one remarkable man, Sir Robin Day. You're very lovely. Thank you. <laughs> now tell me why you're not on my bed. Well, uh, I just feel more comfortable in a chair and I am not the first person to refuse to be on your bed, am I? No, Cecil Parkinson also refused. Well, we all, have, I... we all have different reasons, but I'm, um, let me make it clear that that I regard it as a great honour to be in your boudoir, Paula, mm. but I, because I want to ask you a question, if you'll allow me. Don't start, no. <laughs> but, no, but, no. But what is it? I've been reading about it in the papers. What is this F factor? What does F factor mean on it's television? It's what you and I will be oozing in a minute. What does it stand for? Fanciability. Uh, now, do you have the F factor? I don't know. I don't think so. Not yeah. this morning. Do I have the F factor? You have piles oh, of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, now so go Robin. on, go on with your questions. Now pensions. tell me, your new book, but with respect, with right. respect. That's right. um, which is your favourite interview in the book? Oh, well there are a lot of favourite interviews. I think probably the, the favourite, it won't be the favourite interview to read, but the favourite interview is probably the one I did long ago before you were born with President Nasser of Egypt, which is my first big interview. It's a very simple interview, it reads very simply at the moment, but it was very historic. We weren't didn't have diplomatic relations with Egypt. We had just invaded Egypt and it was rather dicey and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen when we got there. But it was very exciting. Unfortunately, it went out at 11 o'clock at night. So didn't, four people saw it? Well, five or oh. six, but certainly not as many as this mass audience programme, which I'm told is growing day by day. Yeah. Now, do you think there's ever been po politicians that turn down interviews with you because they thought it might get tricky and they wouldn't be able to... I've no idea. How would I know that? But uh, no, I don't think they did. <coughs> Only one has ever walked out, and that interview isn't in the book because it didn't last long enough. Who walked out? It was a gentleman called Mr. John Knott, who was later knighted, not for walking out, but he was, he's the, oh. he, later, he was the defence secretary, and I asked him questions at a Tory party conference, which, which um, he didn't uh, take to very much because I was quoting in the course of the questions that the, the Admiral Leach, the Admiral of the Fleet and the Charge of the Navy, he got didn't furious. Like, didn't like what he was doing. Now, do you, um, do you watch uh, the new interviewers? What do you think of them? Some of them are very promising. Mm. Do you think that now it's a different thing, though, doing a political interview than it was before, say, Kinnock and Thatcher? Because they, they were quite good at evading you. Well, they not only evaded, they were sort of, in their own different ways, they were like steamrollers. Uh, and the, there's, in my 87, there are two interviews with Margaret Thatcher in this book. One was in 83 and one was in 87. And she was very unstoppable in the 87 Ooh, interview. I noticed she got uh, a word in. Somebody said, I forget who it was, I think it was the television critic of the Daily Telegraph, it said uh, Robin Day was, he tried to interrupt all the time, and I couldn't. And uh, Robin Day was crushed with the effortlessness of a, of a well coiffured stream, oh, steamroller. Uh, do you miss being on telly? Yes. Would you like to do it again? Yes. Really? That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from being in your yes, boudoir. Yes, in my boudoir, not on the bed. <laughs> well, quite. But, but do, you, um, do you find that you miss things like being recognised? No, or is that because I'm still recognised. Ah, so it's it's still mobbed in the supermarket? No, I'm never, no, I'm not mobbed in the supermarket because because I'm unrecognisable in the supermarket, because I go in disguise to the supermarket. Do you? Like Madonna? What do you wear in the supermarket? Not like Madonna at all. <laughs> what do you, what do you You'll wear in the You'll be hearing from my solicitor in the morning. <laughs> I just have wear ordinary clothes. And Yes, and not your... No, I just sort of, you know... Just, I, occasionally people come up to me at all times, sometimes not. They come up to me in, in various ways. They say very nice things, I'm glad to say. Now, I've read that really you ought to be on Super Slimmer of the Year. Is that true, that you're always on a diet? Yes. I'm on a diet at the moment. I'm on a DPR. What's a DPR? Death postponement regime. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to be as, I want to be as slim as you. Really? Do you have fat clothes and thin clothes? Yes. And do you, 
How do you diet? Do you do it very, I'm on very a diet at the moment, which is, which is involving... I won't go through it because it's nothing. Why do you want to bring up such a boring Because I was quite subject? gripped by the idea of you having this graph in your bathroom. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's the only way to diet. Because you, and you make it so that the, the scale is very favourable to a drop, you see. So you have the dates going along here and the pounds going along here, so that when you drop a pound... You think you've whoop, really plummeted. Like it's like a phony political graph in a party political broadcast. The other thing that you should do is have a picture of somebody very fat and ugly on the fridge door so that you think you're really sexy. Well, I wouldn't know where to get that photograph from, you see. Because oh, I have many of stop. myself. It's, it's been gorgeous to talk to you. I hope that your book goes very, very well. Would you like to wave that lovely cover? If it's you a like, beautiful yes, picture can I show you? Will it be shiny? <laughs> this is Channel 4, and you're watching The Big Breakfast. Thank you. It's massive. A real hard-boiled egg. It's awesome. It's egg, bacon, sausages. And it's huge, and it's candy floss. The Big Breakfast. Well, I'm a big lad, aren't I? It was very handsome, wasn't it? I was, uh, <laughs> Peter, our salmon. Thank you to Robin Day and Polly Yates upstairs are going to come down and join us for the end of the show. Uh, now, we've had some final faxes here. Ideal Home Exhibition this week opens today. Uh, what would make your uh, home more ideal? Nola Leary from Luton, a toilet seat heater. Yeah? Whoa. OK, yes. then. And uh, we've got Richard Wicks here from Kingston, automatic toenail clipping finder. Oh. And uh, we have lots That's of others, loads idea. of others today. We've had lots of faxes. Thank you very much indeed. But now... It's time for the news with Peter Smith. <laughs> You bought the last Vulcan bomber. Who the heck's let that go to? Here we are on the big breakfast. I've got to say thank you to Sir Robin Day. Here he is. And the little goat. And the family of the week. And Sunshine News. Sunshine News. Happy News. The country's first adventure playground for dogs has opened in Kent. Oh. The dogs will now have swings, slides, climbing frames and paddling pool pools okay. to play in. The goat, oh. eat, the goat sees the flowers low for tomorrow's show. We need these for tomorrow's the show. show. On tomorrow's show, Pam Ferris, Ma Larkin from the Darling Butter Race will be here. Another amazing anorak of the week. But now, let's just say have a great Thursday. Bye from the girls. Oh. Bye from the boys. Oh. And have a lovely time. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>